budding artists and welcome to Art with Anna, the very first online tutorial. Welcome. Um, so today we will be creating this wonderful mandrel, also known as Rafiki of the Lion King. And we'll be using some oil pastels and um, we'll also be using a really cool technique to add detail called Scrapito. Stay tuned to see what that is. Um, so you should have all your materials. We're going to start off with our pencil. I'll be using a black pen just so you can see my lines. Um, but uh, with the pencil, it's just a sort of outline where we'll be putting different colours and it'll be coloured over with our oil pastel. Cool. Well, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to start off with um, the mandrels here, which is just master around his eyes. So if you go about a third of the way down the page. I'm going to draw a shape, kind of, and then you're going to draw your nose, which is the red bit, and then you're going to join it up on each side, and your mask going to snout. Then we're going to draw our nostrils in and our eyes. pupils in the middle. Cool. We're going to outline the mane of the mandrel and we're going to put in the beard and the body. So with that we're just going to do um, draw lines out from the face all the way around and we'll leave some room for And then we're going to put the body in. And there we have our outline. The colours that you'll need for your mantle. Now obviously you have a creative licence and I would suggest um, to Google search a picture of a mantle so you have something to base your observation of. Um, so you can choose any colours you want. I'm going to choose uh, well, a blue for the nose, so you can go a dark blue or light blue. I'm going to go dark blue this time. And I'm going to go a red, black for the mask, and a little bit for the body here. And then I'm going to have three different shades of brown. I've got a really dark, whoop, really dark brown. Uh, lighter brown, so like a medium brown, and then a brown I like to call this one, baby poo blue, blue, not blue, baby poo brown, there's a colour of that, um, so that's a really light brown, and then also yellow, and an orange, and now are my colours, um, and then we're going to start with we're going to do the mask around the eyes first. Okay, so you just colour in that shape like that. Make sure you get all the, the white. Alright, now we can finish with that. We're going to do the red part of the nose. We go over the nostrils, that's alright. Don't worry if you can't see, see your pencil anymore because I'm going to go over with the black. Heavy black. And you just go over those nostril parts. And then your blue. Colour in the sides here. And voila, we have finished the zipper. Okay, um, as you can see in this one here, I've added some line work on top of the blue and then I've added a bit of uh, light, uh, the white over the red of the nose to create light. So, if you grab your white pastel, uh, so after your white, you're going to create detail, to add some white lines. If you have a look at your image of the mandrel, you'll see that in the blue part of his nose. Um, there are some lines there. Okay, and 
and then down the snout here to create some light. There we go. Okay, now we're on to the medium brown. Okay, and we're just going to go really lightly out like this. two colors so here I've picked what well, kind of changed you can pick three or two I'm gonna pick um, baby blue brown and orange okay and I'm gonna start with the baby poo brown and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the face small short lines and just coloring from the face outwards and we're gonna go down to up. You're going to go all around the face. And then you're going to pick up your other colour. So my other colour is orange. And from the end of your first colour, you're going to do the same thing. So you're creating a thick line going all the way around and eventually it's going to, you're just going to keep doing that alternating colours until it goes all the way to the end of the mane. Doesn't matter if you go over into your other colour because it makes a nice blending effect. You can also blend with your finger, so you can get rid of those white bits by blending with your finger. It's going to get a little bit messy, but that's okay. That's the best bit about art. Okay, and then once you're getting towards the um, end of your mane, you're going to grab... Um, you can go your medium brown or your dark brown. I might actually go both and blend them together. I can find them, that is. Um, and we're just going to do sort of the outer layer of the mane. And then when you're happy with it, you can do the body. Okay, so the body is grab your black. And another way you can use your oil pastel is turn it on the side. And you can sort of, I guess, rub. A rubbing technique. my medium brown and I'm going to colour over the top. I can use different, I can use my lines, my colouring in different ways. I go up, down, side to side, diagonally. Okay, so when you finish and you're happy with it and you've got rid of um, a lot of the white areas, um, obviously you're going to have some white areas and that's fine. 
You can always blend them in. But last for things beard, and the colours I used were um, yellow and baby blue brown. Okay, so I used the yellow first, and then I put over the top this um, baby blue brown colour, and I just did sort of line work over the yellow. So grab whatever colour you're going to use as a base for the beard, and you're going to colour it all in. So you're going to take your other colour that you decide to use and you're going to make line work, lines down from the snout to the bottom to do the eyes. Now you get to choose, you can do red, you can do orange, yellow, whatever colour you'd like. I'm going to pick a orange so just to make sure it's a colour that is contrasting to the black so that it stands out. And then grab your black and I'm just going to do a few Alright. Now for my favourite bit, which is the scruffy dough, which is a technique. So you'll need your scissors. We're going to use, um, so closed scissors, and we're going to use the flat part of the blades here together. And we're just going to create lines in our artwork. And so it's going to create detail and it's going to scratch some of the uh, oil pastel off and bring out maybe some other colours or maybe the white paper um, underneath it. Let's start with the body here. <clears throat> and I want you to create lines that go different directions to create texture so it looks like the mandrel's fur. So you can make thick lines, thin lines, just sort of angle your scissors different ways. Okay, and when you're happy with that, we're going to continue on the main and we're going to go out from the face um, the end of the main. Make sure you go over the body here, so it looks like the main sitting on top of the body. Okay, then when you're happy with that, you can start on the beard. So from the nose out onto the body. You're happy with your scruffito marks. Um, I might just add a little bit in the face, not too much because I don't want to take away from the face. So I might do some stitching in here. Alright, and then we're almost finished. Finish off your master paint. We need to sign it. So you 
you might already have a signature, you can use that. I'm going to use my initials, I'm going to sign in the bottom right over here. I'm just going to write AD, and I wrote it in a black pastel, so you can kind of see it, um, but it's also kind of hidden a little bit on my page. And voila, your very own mandrel of a figgy. So I would love to see your work, please share it um, via email, anything, and I'd love to showcase your work on Facebook and Instagram. So please do share, and I hope to see you at the next workshop.